Hey, I'm Hunter Holiday, and I'm conducting the Biocultural Diversity Project with Gene Price. Gene, what is the year of your birth? 1992. What's your gender? Female. Describe your race or ethnicity. White. Do you have children? No. From what country or countries were your ancestors located? <laughs> Scotland. In what city, part of what state, and country did you spend your formative years? Columbia, South Carolina. Okay. And in your formative years, did you live in urban, suburban, or rural area? Urban. Where do you live now? Spartanburg, South Carolina. How long have you lived there? Two years. Two and a half years. Okay. Is this area urban, suburban, or rural? Urban. Where have you lived longest? Columbia. And South Carolina. And how long did you live there? Uh, 18 years. Have you ever lived in another country? Nope. Do you speak any other language or dialect? No. To which economic class would you consider your parents to be in? Um, middle. To you, what is the nature of the natural world? Um, anything that is undisturbed by mankind. Were your parents' livelihoods or interests somehow connected to working with or in nature? Um, no, not really. Is your livelihood or interest somehow connected to working with or in nature? Mm, nope. <laughs> if applicable, are your parents or your children's livelihoods or interests somehow connected to working with, with or in nature? But you're not children. So. Yeah, that's the count. Okay. As a child, how much free time did you prefer to spend outside? Some. Now, how much time do you like to spend outside? Um, some. What things do you do to connect to the natural world? And what meanings do these things have for you? I mean, I enjoy going to the beach and to the mountains and hiking and that kind of stuff. What does that do for you? Um, uh, it's relaxing. It gets me out of the house, away from the trucks. Okay. List your outdoor activities over the past year, just like three or four. Um, going to the beach, like I said, mountains, walking, exercising outside, that kind of stuff. Okay. How have you learned about nature? Um, probably mostly through school. Okay. Is there anything in your background at all that makes you knowledgeable about nature? I mean, not really. Okay. How has your heritage, culture, or way of life influenced your view of nature? Um, my parents, I mean, always took us to the beach and the mountains, encourage us to play outside to take advantage of what's outside. <laughs> How is nature important to you? Um, it's a way to relax and get out of the house and quit spending so much time like on the computer or watching TV, that kind of stuff. Okay. Do you think that in your lifetime some elements of nature will be lost? Absolutely. Okay. Um, how will that loss affect you, do you think? Um, I don't know if it'll affect me, but I think it'll affect for um, generations to come. Okay. Have you seen changes in language or dialect over the years in the places that you've been or traveled? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you name and explain any natural objects or local places in the natural world that hold some special meaning to you? I mean, besides going to the beach, just because it's like we do that every year with our family, and I just associate it with my family. Okay. Do you feel that knowing the names of any particular objects in the natural world, such as the names of insects or trees, changes your observation and or enjoyment or use of them? Um, no. Okay. Have you ever or do you now gather any product from nature for food, medicine, fuel, art, or hobby? No, not me personally. <laughs> okay. Has your family passed on any sayings about nature uh, that you know of? No. Okay. Do you see a link between maintaining your way of life and maintaining the natural world? Uh, I mean, I need to probably recycle more and like think about ways I can improve the environment and rather than just taking advantage. Okay, well, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you.